we're going to do strip greens with numerous different things to put on top of them. Um, one including a 3 2 1 plus lemon dressing and a walnut sauce. The first thing we're going to do is stripped greens. And any greens will do. Anne? And this is the way you strip them. Go. <laughs> Done. No knife, no nothing. Throw it in. Done. D U N. Your kids will love to do this. Your kids will love it. Tear them up a little bit more if you want. And if you're making a, a massage kale salad with this stuff, just tear it up a little more. Little mini workout, tone, lovely. Collards work the same way. If you need to use collards, here, can we strip the collards? Oh, sorry, there's a little bit of water in this pan. Yes, water the pan. Go. Okay. And then this is just, this just steams literally as long as you want. And there's nothing wrong with these. They're delicious. Cut them up in little pieces, put them in soup. I hear dogs love them. Um, you know, they're really nice behind the ear. And they make really pretty uh, things in uh, flower arrangements. So cook this stuff as long as you'd like. People are like, well, how long? What are you steaming them? Steam it in bro veggie broth. Steam it in water. Who cares? Just don't go steaming it in vodka or anything. And let it cook until you can eat it. Taste it. Eat it. Don't think, don't suffer through eating it when it's sort of steamed. It's like eating a tarp. It's like eating the tent fly. T cook it until you can eat it. If you like it softer, cook it longer. I mean, this stuff is, it, it, it is very, tar it's like bulletproof, bombproof, waterproof. It's, greens are intense. She calls it, what, you, what do you call it, Kale? Spinach with Oh, it's spinach with heft. Total heft. So this is what it looks like when I like it. It's a darker green. This is how I like it cooked. And on top of it, we can put any number of things. There's a great dressing, which um, we're going to do next, which has three main ingredients, four main ingredients. It has balsamic vinegar, mustard, and maple syrup. I don't, I don't need that. And um, thank you. And it's, I call it three, two, one, because there's three tablespoons of balsamic, two, can you open up the syrup and the mustard? So three, one, two, and three. If you like mustard a lot more than the, your vinegar, sorry, did I say it wrong? It's, yeah, three, two, one. Three vinegar, two mustard, one maple syrup. Sorry. Okay. And then we're going to put one, two of that. Oh, this takes so long. It's so complicated. How do you ever cook plant strong? Done. Okay. Now, as we're whipping this up, we're going to put a lemon. Whatever the hell you like. Whatever kind of mustard you like. I don't care if it's Dijon, spicy, uh, Jack Daniel mustard. There's all kinds of mustard out there. Just get something in there that you're going to like. If you don't like mustard, don't use it. This is a condiment. You use dabs, bits, dribbles of it. It's got walnuts, one cup to be precise. It's got as much garlic as you like. I'm not going to tell you how much, but we have about that many cloves. A couple. Haha. <laughs> she loves garlic in it. I don't love as much garlic in it, but we live next door to each other, and we always share walnut sauce, um, happily. And then there's tamari in it. Tamari is soy sauce, but tamari is a low-sodium soy sauce. It's also gluten-free. I'm not trying to sound snobby calling it tamari, but it's, it's the kind that we choose to use because of the gluten-free aspect, and it's a lower sodium. Um, and we're going to put in one tablespoon of tamari. And then what's cool about this walnut sauce is kind of you make it as thick as you'd like for your, what, whatever use it is. Um, today I'm going to make it sort of thin because I want it to be like a dressing like a drizzle. You can make it a little thicker as, we're, as you'll see for another type of recipe. Where's that? We have water up here somewhere? Oh, there you go. Look how bold and brave. I'm not going to measure it. <laughs> okay. 
When I did a cooking class and made walnut sauce one time, my friends were like, walnut sauce? What is up with that? Like walnuts and sauce? That's not. And so I was making it, and they were, they were all you know, writing things down. And then I added water. And I heard it's a metamorphosis. Everyone, everyone suddenly went, ooh, because the whole thing turns white. I don't know if you can tell from there, but it turns white. And it looks creamy. And suddenly we're like, oh, that's a sauce. It's not just a bunch of nuts and tamari spinning around. This is gold. This is so flavorful and so tasty, and you need a little teeny bit of it, and it just, whoo. If it helps you choke down your greens at first, use a little walnut sauce. Some people have a hard time with greens. Totally get that. It's fine. In uh, my husband's book, Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease, directly for heart disease patients, the only recipe that I got in the book through past my husband was walnut sauce because you can make it very thin and it is just stunningly delicious.